Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Coder. This week we are going to continue on with our Pong clone tutorial and uh, we are going to cover the UI. Um, so no programming in this tutorial, just actually setting up the UI and then the, uh, the next tutorial is going to cover scoring and uh, updating the UI. So uh, that'll be fun. Um, but for now, what we have to do is we actually have to get the UI set up so that next week we can actually work on getting our scoring done and uh, updating the UI from that. So to get started, um, go ahead and load up your project in Unity and um, you'll notice that you know we've got basically everything done except for we have no user interface. Well, I mean, it sort of looks like we do because we've got our playing board and we've got our paddles and we've got our ball and we can move our paddles and we've got computer AI and all this good stuff. But we've got no score for the player, no score for the computer. We don't have anything that will tell us whether you know we've won or lost. So um, we're going to have to add all that stuff in. And uh, we're going to start by actually adding a HUD. And um, that'll create our canvas. So we go up to Game Object and we go to UI and then from here we just go um, and create canvas and then this right here this is our canvas this is our event system for our canvas okay this is what actually um, gets the input to our canvas and here this canvas here we're gonna rename this we're gonna rename it to HUD underscore canvas and you don't have to do that. Um, it's just something that I have as a preference because sometimes I'll have more than one uh, canvas. I'll have one for a pause menu, one for like a um, like an options uh, menu, and uh, one for you know just to keep score and stuff. So it's it's just easier to compartmentalize them this way so that uh, we can you know more easily like t keep them apart because. If you start putting a lot of elements on those on those canvases, they're going to keep, get really difficult to keep track of which elements to turn on and off at different times of the game. So um, for now, and, and our game is only going to have the one canvas, so we really don't have to rename it, but I've just gotten in such a habit of doing this that uh, I do it every single time. So HUD canvas, all right? So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to adjust some properties in our HUD canvas, okay? Um, or not, maybe, yeah, we're not going to adjust any properties in our HUD canvas, but what we are going to do is, I know I said no programming, and this isn't programming, but we are going to attach our HUD script to our HUD canvas, okay? So by doing that, all we, we can either drag it and drop it over here onto the inspector if we've got the HUD canvas selected, or we can just go to add component and we can type in HUD and there's our HUD script and we can just click on it and now that HUD script is part of our HUD canvas. Okay, so let's save. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add um, score text for the computer and for the player. And uh, yes, I'm looking over here a lot because uh, I have notes on positions and font sizes and things like that. Um, because my brain is just not that big and it can't remember everything. So, yes, I'll be referencing my notes. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a text element. So we go to, up to our game object um, menu and we go to UI and then we just click on text. All right, now you're like, okay, well, what the hell just happened? We just got these two lines. It makes no sense. Well. Our HUD is, if you zoom out, you'll see that our HUD is actually pretty darn big, and it's right here. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna probably think about, oh, well, we need to resize the canvas because it doesn't match our game. Well, the thing about this canvas is, is that it is not, it doesn't, have, it has nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with the size of our game or how many things we've got going on here. This right here is simply an overlay, and when we look at it through the camera, like when we switch to game mode, notice where the text is, okay, up in the left corner. If we go to game view, you'll see it's up here at the left corner. So keep that in mind when you're working in this canvas is that you're working with what the camera actually sees right here, okay? 
So what we're going to do is we are going to change the properties of our text, um, yeah, of our text game object. And what we're going to set them to is first we're going to change the font, which is right now Arial. And we're going to select the other font that we've imported, this 8-bit font. Okay. Then we're going to change the font size to 50. And then we're going to change our um, position to negative 35 and 140. Right here, negative 35 and 140. 40. And then we are going to change our width and height to 80 and 100. And then we're going to change our actual text to 0. And we're going to change the uh, alignment to center and center. And then we're going to change the color to white. So now if we go into our game view, this is actually not right um, because, yeah. <laughs> when I originally built this game, um, these values were correct because um, I changed the um, pixels to units ratio for this uh, tutorial. So um, we're gonna keep the same size for a font, okay? we're just going to change our position and for me I find it best to work with both game view and scene view at the same time when I'm working in the HUD so I can see kind of where it's at on the game so I'm just going to take this game tab and I'm going to drag it over here so that now we've got a view of the scene and of the game so now we can change this however we want so I'm going to just put it up here and we'll put it at 250. That looks good to me. All right, so then we're just gonna duplicate. Actually, let's name this text object. Let's name it player score. And then we're gonna just command D, which duplicates it. And we'll rename this one to computer score. Okay. Then we're gonna drag that one over. And let's see if we can get that X value, right? That X value is supposed to be 38 which it's at right now so that's perfect okay so we've got 38 and then nothing else needs to change with that one and then we've got our text for win player and win computer so let's go ahead and create a actually let's just keep the same let's just duplicate it select it command D so we'll call this one player win and then we'll just drag it down and the players on the left side so that's where we're going to put it um, the actual exposition that I had for it was negative 135 and the Y position was 140 and then we had 80 or sorry negative 135 and 0 is where I had it okay because that in its center and then uh, 300 by 100 for width and height. And in font size I have set to 50. The same font, we've got center and center for the alignment and the color's white. So now all we need to do is duplicate that and call this one computer win. And we'll just drag that over to the other side and that one's going to be 138 in the X position. Okay. And these are actually not going to have text for now. All right. So now they're still there. You can still see them, but they just don't have text. Okay. So then we've got one more and that is actually, we'll just duplicate this one. I'll move it down and we're going to just start it off by saying press spacebar to play. We're also going to change the font size to 14. 
we're going to change the color to like a dark gray color. And then we are going to keep the center alignments and we're going to set the X position to zero so that it's in the center. And then we're just going to move it down until we get to the white part of the game. Okay, right here. So that when we're in game view, when before the game starts, we're going to have the player press spacebar to play. So this will be the message that's, that's up. Okay, and when the player presses the space bar, we're gonna make this message basically um, go away. And here's what we forgot. Um, we forgot to rename this one, so we'll call this one play again. Because when the player or the computer loses, then we'll change that text to read, um, press space bar to play again. Um, and then, you know, that'll, that'll pop up when the game is over because either the player or the computer is won. So, and that, yeah, that pretty much covers that. All right, so I'm gonna move my game tab back over here with the others. And something happened that I didn't like, which is that everything moved and we don't want things to move, right? So, okay, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to go back to HUD canvas and we're going to change constant pixel size to scale with screen size. Okay, so that means we are going to have to go in here, drag this out again, and now that we're scaling it with screen size, we're going to have to make some adjustments to these. Okay, so we're going to move these down a little bit. And then the other one, the play again text, we're gonna move that this way. Okay. So now everything should line up. Yeah. So now if we actually change the size of the screen, all of everything is going to scale along with the size of the screen, okay? So that way it doesn't matter where we put our um, Doesn't matter where we put any of our elements, they're going to scale with the screen, and that's what we want, okay? So, um, that pretty much covers setting up the UI. I know, I'm sorry for the short video, but um, I'm just, I'm trying to take it step by step, and I'm not trying to overwhelm anybody. So, um, hopefully you guys will uh, look uh, forward to the next video um, next week, uh, where we're actually uh, setting up so that we can keep track of score and update the UI with our um, with our score. And um, I think we may even get to the point where we, you know, judge whether or not the player or the computer is one. So it may, sorry, it may be that next week will be when we finish this Pong game. Um, except I have one more thing, and that is I want to show you guys a couple of more extra things to make the game more exciting and interesting. So there may be another episode that gets into, hey, what can I do to make this game more fun? Um, but hey, it's Pong. It's fun, right? So anyways, um, I'm going to end it here. I uh, hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got questions, comments go down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.